What is going on guys? Happy Sunday. I hope you all had a good New Year's. This guy it was alright. Spent it down here in my basement <laughs> doing what I like to do. But anyway, um, so yeah, had my nephew over here over the weekend and we had a blast. Um, went out to Crawler Space over here in Grand Rapids. That was a good time. That guy's course is it's awesome. Um, Reaction RC has a good one. It's huge. It's probably the biggest indoor one around. Um, but Crawler Space, I have to give it to the guy. He has spent a shitload of time on that course. It is amazing. I've been going in there, in and out, throughout over the past year in 2021, and buying a bunch of... Uh, 124 skill stuff so I didn't have any interest in really what was going on with this course I like I caught a glimpse of it because you you can't miss it it's just amazing um but uh now that I have a 110 scale I'm paying more attention to this kind of stuff and his is awesome it's super technical so really test your uh your control skills on these one tenths it's it's crazy <laughs> but I mean there's basically in my mind two different worlds because um, reaction RC his is freaking sweet too I love it um, he's got a lot of technical spots on his course too it's just more spread out which gives you more freedom to like open your rigs up like if you want to jump there's a section in there that has a pretty decent jump that I've been jumping with my my uh, spawn and stuff but uh, yeah it's a definitely two different uh, designs and, and course creation here um, love them both so yeah anyway getting back to having my nephew here <laughs> after we got done with uh, crawler space we uh, took him outside. I got some footage of it. Haven't decided when I'm gonna post it up. I might do it for uh, um, a video this week or something. But we took the trucks out and bashed them around in the snow. Had a blast. Um, my spawn uh, ended up taking a beating. Uh, <laughs> so. Right now it's in pieces and you'll see it here in a little bit because I have new upgraded parts that I want to put on it. But this guy took a crap. Shocker, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've been talking to different people. I've talked to, um, I'm having a total name brain part here. I talked to him over there at uh, Crawler Space and he said motors like the electronics in these RTRs are not meant to last. I don't know why they don't make them last. I mean, obviously if you really beat on them, something's gonna break. But um, yeah, even the 124 scales, the, the, every every manufacturer RTR has problem. Um, axial, however, it's always the steering servos and the motors. It is what it is. <laughs> I could go into how I feel about it, but nah, that's another video. <laughs> But anyway, so I do have, sorry, I got the rig sitting right here in pieces and I don't have anywhere to put my arms, but I do have a replacement motor coming. So yeah, they'll be here this week. They'll be here this week, more than one plural. <laughs> but anyway, so I have new shocks, freaking cool. And I have new rims. The reason why I'm going with these is because these rims I have on here, I like the look of better. I think they look really freaking sweet. Um, I bought these from Jeff over there at Reaction RC. Um, no, these were Amazon purchase, sorry. Um, I bought the rims on my dad's deadbolt from Reaction RC. Um, but I don't like having to take this stupid center hub off all the time when I want to take the tire off. And 
it's it's yeah I, I don't like it so I decided to go with these these do not have those center caps so yeah I'm gonna give these a whirl I think they'll look just as good they look pretty sweet um, and I have those and I have a new pro bumper so that's gonna be going on too and I'm showing you all this because it's not going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to film me putting all the parts on. And you guys can comment whatever you want to comment. But I thought you guys would at least like to see it. So, let me get some tools and we'll get started. Be right back.
All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Um, those rims kind of took me forever. Um, 35 little screws per rim. So, yeah, do the math. 35 times 4. It's a lot of screws. <laughs> so, and this little thing that I kind of flashed, um, it's a bead locking rim helper tool. It, like, squeezes the tire together so you can start your screws easier didn't work on these rims um i feel it is a handy tool to have great you it didn't work in this aspect um just because there wasn't enough material on the back side of the rim for it to grab onto but that's the theory behind it it's supposed to take those rims and kind of squish them together so you can get your screws started um, I think it's going to be pretty handy to have in the future. Um, but yeah, so there it is, guys. Looking pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> pretty stinking sweet. Love it. So the bumper I'm going to do at a different date. I'm going to do the uh, motor, motor install in the bumper at a different date once I get the motor in. Uh, I should get it within a week so probably this coming weekend hopefully I can do that for you guys but um, yeah as always thanks for watching uh, hit the subscribe button smack the bell and we'll see you guys later take it easy guys